that man, and then you don't pull up. And like I said, I don't want y'all involved because I don't want to pass out OG. Y'all get y'all roses while y'all living. Me, I'ma take them. I'ma take them, homie. I ain't tripping Yo, off the niggas. 50 gon' bully he a, he a black mafia member. Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politics TV. Had to come tap in on the situation, man. Shit getting real out here. Now, who you just heard talking, if you don't know, that was Southwest T. That is Big Meat's brother. One of the head honchos of motherfucking BMF Black Mafia family. Been in the feds for a long time. Was able to be released due to the coronavirus pandemic. Big Meech is still in there. He was denied. I don't know exactly why. There's different reasons coming out. But we'll see about that situation later. But with this going on right here, 50 Cent has jumped in this mix and made it his personal business to call niggas out on behalf of BMF and Southwest T. Now, if you don't know who BMF is, man, they one of the biggest drug selling organizations in black American history. You know what I'm saying? We not trying to say, I know motherfuckers gonna be in the comments where these niggas sold more than them, they sold more than them. But with the lifestyle, the image, the influence, the culture that they brought with it, they made history in urban and hip hop. That's just what it is. So 50 Cent, <clears throat> Has been working with them doing uh, basically a documentary, a documentary series. So he's taking it upon himself to get involved. Now, I don't know what type of relationship 50 Cent had with them before or after or whatever. But 50 Cent went at Jeezy. This is what he said. Big T said, get Jeezy ass too. How you screaming BMF? Who helped you get a record deal? Then Meech mom is calling you and texting you. Let you know T is home and you ignoring the phone calls, nigga. So now his mom said, fuck the backstage passes and free tickets to the concerts. Pick up the phone, nigga. At Jeezy. Stars. BMF. Coming soon. Now look here, man. This is not my words. This is 50 Cent Instagram. He don't give a fuck. He going directly at Young Jeezy. We've heard rumors. We've seen certain people speak out against Jeezy. We've seen Blue Da Vinci do it also. But then later it came out that Blue Da Vinci did and said some things in court that he shouldn't have did. Now, that's fucking crazy on Blue Da Vinci part because he came home kind of campaigning against Jeezy. But, hey, dog, hey, I don't know. I'm just reporting the news and what people are saying. Even Big Meat's son spoke out against Blue Da Vinci and told him, he told somebody on Instagram, get that nigga some cheese. So, 50 Cent also went in on Diddy. Hey, man, T said he want his money, Diddy. Nah, he said he know he not tripping. He just want this paper. You know what I'm saying? Basically saying, hey, dog. Diddy then took some loans out from the nigga or they didn't have business dealings together. Now, I've heard a lot of rumors in the game, even Irv Gotti, where some of these, like, execs have, you know, or some of these rappers have just, like, threw money to invest with these execs and, and some hip-hop moguls early on in their careers or they might have been fucked up or they didn't have the lucrative cash at the time. They had the money invested in other places where they have the money. They not broke. They just don't have the cash to spend. I've heard that. Now, I don't know about Diddy Dillon's, none of this shit. All I know is what 50 Cent is saying in the rumors. So understand that. This is me reporting what's on the internet. But... They, T, Southwest T actually posted this to, to his situation, to his story and page and shit. And 50 Cent reposted it. Shout out to Diddy. They had a real talk. So I guess everything is cool now with Diddy and BMF and Southwest T. I still have not heard. From, we have we have not heard from Big Meech. I have not seen him say anything. Being in the feds, he's not allowed to have an Instagram and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? So we just got to wait and see on that. So 50 Cent is really pressing the issue, calling everybody out who had dealings with this. You know, that's right up his alley to call Irv Gotti out. There's uh, Jeezy. I want to, when I get a response from Jeezy, because I know I'm going to keep it fair, I'm going to tell both sides of the story, man. Now, we do know how 50 Cent play the game. He don't give a fuck. If it's, if it's going to help him win, he'll go at you. He don't give a fuck. So with this situation, with him being the nigga producing and playing a major role in this in his successful show with power was able to land him in this situation with bmf you already know what's gonna happen he gonna stand up and call it because it's bringing attention to motherfucking stars in the new bmf documentary 
documentary. So we're going to see what happened with it. Subscribe to the channel, Urban Politics TV. Tell me what y'all think about all this shit, man. This crazy what? Hit me in the comments, 1,000. Follow me on Instagram at UrbanPoliticians underscore Big Ant for my personal, for the little blog page at Urban Politics TV, man. Now, don't get in the comments talking about, oh, you wrong, you wrong. Nigga, I'm putting out what the fuck they got on the internet, man. God damn. That's why I don't like when niggas get Look, I'm saying exactly what's getting posted to Instagram. I don't go in behind the scenes and try to dig up information. I'm not a motherfucking detective, nigga. Appreciate y'all tapping in.